per several national reporters, the Seahawks' relationship with Russell Wilson is healing. Does that mean the Seahawks listen to him? I gave the responses of yes and no as possibilities, Zach Galan says on Twitter, because it's been characterized as if the Seahawks are listening to Russell Wilson. And maybe that is the case. Ray Roberts, a friend, a friend of me, when it comes to online and those mean internet streets. And what I love about Ray is that you know that it's never personal, but the trash talk that you have with him, like I did with him on, I think, Saturday night after being in an elated state, seeing Virginia go down, because I hate all the ACC establishment teams. Like, I hate North Carolina. I hate Duke. I hate Virginia. I hate all those, like, northern, southern schools that act so hoity-toity in the ACC. We come into it. We make the conference better in the tournament. Syracuse is whatever the case. I, so we, we, had some, we had some back and forth online on Saturday. He called me Little Bearded Man. I didn't really have a good comeback for that other than just rubbing it in the, that Virginia lost in the first round, his alma mater. But he brought up a great point. Or you listen to them. Why isn't that an option? Or they listen to each other. Why does it have to be an all one way or nothing situation? The reason I ask the question that way, and not with those other answers, with just a yes or no response, is because it is being characterized as if Russell Wilson has been listened to and as if he has won nationally. It is. Is that accurate? I don't know. And, and I, I think Ray has a point where maybe he listened to them and they said, this is what we're doing. Relax. And it was that simple. And now he is on seeing the Gabe Jackson trade, seeing Gerald Everett signed, seeing Chris Carson back in the fold, seeing Ethan Posick back in the fold. He sees some signs of things that he wants. I do think, though, that he should have known that they were going to make these changes this offseason. They had to. They're smart. They're a smart team. They're not dumb. They're not the, they're not the Bears, you know? They're, they're, they're a well-run organization, and while I know that they're not perfect and that it has been frustrating these last years as the Seahawks kind of pitter-patter in this mm, mediocre um, spot, at least as far as your expectations, which have been raised since the back-to-back Super Bowl, Super Bowl appearances, they are, they're, not, they're not incompetent like a lot of people characterize them to be. Hey, we got a, this is actually an Instagram direct message, at Seattle Sports Pal. If you want to go after me on that, you want to slide on in. So we have many ways that you can get on the most interactive sports talk show. I think Russ moved the needle on guard acquisition. Maybe from 70% likelihood to 100%. The other moves, I definitely think the Seahawks would have made. I don't know that I need anyone to acknowledge this little Cold War. That is from Jesse. That is a that's an interesting answer, and, and you know what? Yeah, if you don't acknowledge the Cold War, it's a lot easier to put it behind, the, <laughs> put it behind you on the road unless you've got some annoying uh, man, a little man with a beard who, <laughs> who keeps bringing it up and asking, hey, why isn't Russell uh, taking care of this? Why hasn't, why hasn't uh, Russell acknowledged that he kind of made a little bit of a mess? 